Would a Suzuki GSX-R750 be good for a big rider? What's up everyone? It's Alex. For answering viewer questions again, let's just get right into it. Today's question came from Matt, and Matt asked, Would a GSX-R750 be good for a 6 foot 5 guy? Okay, so let's just get right into that. Matt, GSX-R750 for a big or tall rider, okay? First off, the GSX-R750 for the vast majority of years is made on exactly the same frame and everything as a GSX-R600. So even though it is a 750, it is actually on the exact same platform most years as a GSX-R600. It actually has exactly the same engine casings and everything. It's just been bored out and everything to a 750. So GSX-R750, GSX-R600, for a lot of people, can't even tell the difference between it. If you take all the badging off of them and just put them right next to each other, you will be really hard pressed to even tell the difference between a GSX-R750 and a GSX-R600 most years. That being said, GSX-R750 is also one of my absolute favorite super sport bikes of all time next to like the 675 Daytona because it fits this awesome kind of middle ground where you get a little bit more torque and a little bit more of everything, but you still have that really nice light nimble handling from like a 600 class motorcycle. Now, the GSX-R750 as it relates to bigger, taller riders, because it is on a smaller 600 type of a frame, especially for a guy like six foot five and taller, I'm not gonna say that you can't fit on it. I've had plenty of friends between six and seven feet tall that ride 600s, 750s, et cetera. What, you, what it's really gonna come down to is how comfortable you are going to be in kind of a compacted position. Does that make sense? So, you know, at six foot five, if you're comfortable, if your knees and your hips and your ankles and everything else and your elbows and shoulders, if all of your joints and everything can take the compacted position of riding on a 600, then they can take the position of riding on a 750. So if you're six foot five and your knees and everything can handle being in the position of riding on a tiny little super sport motorcycle like that, then absolutely a GSX-R 750 can be a fantastic choice for you. I would not say it's a good first motorcycle. So if you've had a motorcycle or two before and you've got some experience and you've got some skills and you can fit, like you need to go sit on one and see if it's comfortable. But if it's comfortable to you and it can fit and you've got some experience, the GSX-R 750 can be an amazing motorcycle that will keep you happy for a long time. And with proper maintenance, I have seen those things run for a long, long time, okay? So it's going to come down to you. Matt, you need to go sit on GSX-R 750s and, you know, See if you can get someone to hold it for you, get your legs up, and see if your joints are gonna be able to handle that riding position in general. Because usually on super sports, going from a 600 to a 750 like that, there's gonna be no difference. And even if you go up to a 1000, for a lot of years, the 1000 physically is not that much bigger. So it's just gonna depend on whether or not you and your body and your joints can handle being in that kind of a compacted pretzel riding position on a super sport, okay? That's something that everybody has to figure out for themselves. So can it be a great motorcycle? Absolutely. Is it going to fit you? I don't know. I don't know you. You're going to have to go sit on them and see what you think, okay? If you fit on it and you've got some experience, fantastic. Go for it. I hope that was helpful. I'm Alex. Peace.